One of the great things about Storyline is that there are so many ways that you can customize your player and you can even choose specific player features to show or not show on particular slides. And a common one is when you want to display notes or a transcript. There's an option in Storyline to add a notes tab to your player. In this course, it's right over here in the sidebar. If we click on it, then we'll see some text associated with this slide. But sometimes you might not need to show notes for every single slide. And in those situations, it might be kind of confusing or distracting to your learners if you have a notes tab here with nothing in it for certain slides, right? So what you can do is include the notes tab just on the slides where you need it. And here's how it works. First of all, on any slide where you do want to show some slide notes, you'll need to enter the notes text in normal view, which is what we're looking at here. If you come down here below your slide workspace, there's a little panel and you can click on this notes tab and enter your text right here like I've already done. Now, if most of your slides have notes like this, but only a few don't, probably the best thing is to turn on the notes feature on your player. That means it'll display by default for all your slides. And then you can go back and turn it off at the slide level just for the slides where you don't need it to appear. So here's how to do it. We're gonna click on the home tab and then click the player button. And when the player properties manager appears, we're gonna be looking at the features section and we're gonna use this scroll bar right here to find the notes tab. In this course, it's right here. We just wanna make sure that that checkbox is marked and it is. Now, while we're here, we can also use this window to move the notes tab if you want it to show up someplace else. Right now it's in the sidebar and you can see that in the preview, it's definitely showing up in the sidebar, but if you wanna move it, you can select it and then use these arrows to change its location. So like right now, I've moved it into the top bar right section and on the preview it's showing in the top bar right. So you can kind of experiment with what works best for your learners and where you wanna place that tab. All right, so we're gonna click OK. And now the notes tab is gonna be available for all slides unless I tell Storyline otherwise. So if I have a slide where I don't need the notes to appear, what I wanna do is go to that slide, like maybe on this first slide, since this one doesn't have any notes, I'd want to turn it off on this particular slide. So to do that, I'm going to go to my slide properties by clicking on this little gear icon. And when the slide properties manager pops up like this, I can use this player features area to change from player defaults to custom for this selected slide. And then I can just unmark the notes for only that slide. So that works really well if you've just got one or maybe two slides that you want to do that for. If you've got several, um, another way to remove the notes tab from multiple slides is to jump over to story view. And the cool thing about story view is that you can multi-select. So if I've got maybe several slides, I can hold down my control key and click all of them that I wanna remove the notes tab for. And then down here in my slide properties, I can change the properties for all those slides at once. So I'm gonna change this to custom for the selected slides and then I just wanna make sure that this notes box right here is unmarked if I wanna remove the notes tab from all of those uh, slides that I've selected. So now if we preview this scene, we should see that on the first slide, no notes tab appears. And on the second slide, which we left untouched, there is a notes tab. So sure enough, right here in the sidebar, there's no tab that says notes. And if we go ahead and sign in here, the second slide does contain the notes tab just like we intended. Okay, so that's one approach. Another situation might be that you only need notes to display on maybe one or a handful of your slides instead of lots of the slides. In that case, you can save yourself a little bit of clicking by turning the notes off in your player, but then turning them on for just the slides where you want them. And you would use similar steps you know, as what we just looked at. You'd go to your player, and when the player features show up here, you can scroll through turn off the notes for you know all of the slides. This is gonna be your player defaults. And when you click okay, that means that any slide that you um, don't customize is gonna omit the notes tab. But on slides where you do want it to appear like this one, you can change the player properties for that slide. So you can change it to custom and then you can mark the notes tab so that it appears for that slide. So it's really simple to um, customize exactly what player features show up for specific slides in your course.